little feature on things that make our life easier with camping in the Geo Pro and things that help us out to uh, make setting up and camp in general easier. One thing we use is we use these small PVC rugs. Some people use the big one when we have one of those it just it happens to get into a lot of mud and everything it's for us we just need the we just have the two and that way we can use one and in this case the other one got a little bit dirty so we're just using this one and we'll roll them up and get home you just use the hose and wash them down and you stick them in the driveway and dry them out and they're ready to go for the next trip so they're all made of plastic so they can be scrubbed and cleaned another thing we use to make our life easier camping is we made we got this little fold up table and it folds down to a little small little taco and it works good because sometimes your table's messed up or it's in a bad location in this case we can't really seem to get it level so we'll put our chairs around here and we'll just eat off that table or it's just nice to have a little table to put stuff on another thing we've done to make our life easier when camping in the geo pro is uh we've got this adapter here now you can you can put it in like this but it has a tendency to flop out and you got water spraying all over the place or in this case you can thread it onto your hose coming in for your fresh water and you can actually use this butterfly valve here to close off your water until you get up to the tank thread it in and then let it go another thing we use to make our life easier at camp is we uh we usually hang things off these rails. A lot of people put pool noodles up here to keep from hitting their head on the bar. Most of the time we don't have problems, but in this case our, our campsite actually goes uphill here. So we could hit this bar here with our head. So we hang our we hang our chair covers there. And we actually have a uh, wind chime we hang here. That's to let us know if the wind starts getting really bad that we need to put this awning up. It. If we decide to leave this up overnight, then we hear the this thing really chiming and then we know we gotta get this thing tucked in for the night and you'll see on the other side we actually use that side to put our trash bag keep it off the ground another thing we've done to uh, make our life a little bit easier hooking up is uh, occasionally you come up on a place that has a uh, your, your tank flush and you normally would have a thread like this here or you'd have a thread like that that comes in and goes into your flush but sometimes you have connection kind of like this here so what we did is we got this adapter called a water bandit and it has rubber inside of it so what you do I'll show you how you hook it up you thread it in and then what happens is your when your hose comes out here you take it and you thread it in this piece here and it's the rubber you may still leak a little bit here but at least you'll get enough in there to flush out your water so that kind of works out pretty good. We've had a couple campgrounds where, where that was cut off and it was just a plain old hose like this here. So that works out and makes your life a little easier. Another thing we do to make our life a little bit easier is we bought these heavy duty um, Camco pads that go underneath. We just bought two of them. That way we always have one side that's always higher than the other side. In this case, we're almost on the ground in the front and the back. It sets up quite a ways, but it makes it nice and st stable and it gives us a flat surface to uh, put the jacks against. And it's always good to have some, at least two of those. We carry those with us every time we go camping. Another thing we, we've got to make our life easier is we got this dish drainer and it actually hooks onto this piece here. And you can have it up on the side but what's nice about this is once you've done your dishes you can just set it and you have this empty sink hole you can just set it down here and let them dry here that empties up clears your space up here on top of your stove so we just got this recently and I'll put a lot of these products in the video description where I got them and uh, if you want to get one but this is only the first time we've used this and it's worked out really well and it actually collapses down real small and flat so we can just tuck it underneath the counter when we're done with it. Another thing we've done to make our life easier is we always carry around this, I guess it's a five gallon bucket and this is for our fresh water. For some reason we can't get a hose to reach or some other reason we have to pour, 
fill up this with water and fill up our fresh water tank then we've always got this with us it's relatively lightweight it just sits in here in the cargo department compartment and works out pretty good it's i highly recommend carrying one of those all the time with you another thing we've done to make our life easier is we've added this little shoe caddy thing on the inside the fd model but this could be put on any model uh we tried using uh tape some sticky tape to hold that in place we had to screw it down in two different places but these brackets you can get on amazon and just made a use a little piece of trim board and it worked out really well you just put your shoes on and got enough for three people and that's all we plan on carrying in our camper and we usually kick them off as we come in another thing we did to make our life a little easier is we on this one side we made it where our cabinet swings out this way where it can all the way open up and we've actually added some drawers in a our shelf and some drawers this drawer come, comes out like this and it makes it where you can get back in real deep put a lot of clothes in there access it and that gives you two places to store stuff as well another thing i've done and, and you can do this with just about any models wherever you think you might have to use a usb or for 12 volt we've added this extra jack here and this is just you can plug in a, a cigarette type car adapter and here you have two usbs and these are hooked straight to the 12 volt and that way if you're boondocking that you can have you have power over otherwise i normally have my converter here with the 110 but that one makes it on that one side especially on the fd model because you only have the one on this left side another thing we've done is we've added a rear camera to the back uh, you can get an aftermarket but i would highly recommend just taking the one that's supposed to go on the geo pro because everything just plugs in there's no splicing wires all I had to do is take this cover off, take the wire, plug it in, stuff the excess wire back in the wall, and it was ready to go. And uh, there was nothing to it, really, as far as installing it. So uh, that makes it easier to have a rear view mirror, and also you use it for backing up and when you're putting it into your spot. Another thing we did is we've got a this really flexible hose. We went and traded a different hose, and this one here is not one that you want to... Um, you'd want to drink out of but we don't use our drinking water out of our main water supply so this is a normal garden hose but it's it's flexible and it also has the quick disconnect ends on it where they'll actually quick disconnect on those and uh those work out really well and it, like i say that coils up really nice that's a 50 foot hose you can get the ones that really collapse down but we've had trouble with those leaking in the past so this has worked out really well we've also used these rubber rubber neck rubber made uh bins and they fit right in the fd slot right there and that keeps our water you can see the water came out of our hose last time and that keeps that water from getting inside of that area and then we drain that out as we get when we get home another thing we did to make our life easier is in the fd model specifically you have these this big gap behind the couch here so we've got these wedge pillows that they go in here like this and it's just a big wedge and they'll fit and store pretty much back behind here give you a little ledge to keep things from falling in there but the main thing is when your bed's down you'll you can take these two pillows and you put them at the end of your bed and it actually extends your bed a little bit out and uh keeps things from falling back to that place where the bed is normally stored so to summarize you can add all kinds of things to make your life easier in a Geo Pro or E Pro type camper. There's all kinds of little things you can do. It's kind of a personal choice. These are a few that I've done to make our life easier. And just letting you know that I've added a link for some of these products in the uh, video description. And that uh, I do get a small commission for putting those out for Amazon. And then I've got a few other ones I might add in there for some of the other things I bought. But uh, that's about all I have, and I hope this uh, helped you out on making camping easy in your GeoPro or ePro camper.